time limit. And uh, please state your name and uh, township of residence, and we will um, we'll go forward now. So, Madam Clerk, please uh, call the first person, and Robert, please open up the uh, the Zoom for that person to ask whatever questions or make any comments. Chairman, we have Mr. Bruce Patterson. Okay, we'll start with uh, Mr. Patterson. Do you have any comments on this particular ordinance? All right, I, am I? Uh, yes, you are. Am I being heard? Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen of the Reholder Board. This is Bruce Patterson, Gar with New Jersey. Um, this this uh, this bond ordinance. Why wasn't this capital authorization done in the springtime like you have done all the other previous years? Uh, plus, plus, in looking at this, the 2020 county budget when you formulated it, uh, it looked like the requested amount for for the capital request was probably going to be around 50 million dollars. I think 53 million dollars it was. But anyway, I only see 24 million dollars being spent for bond. Uh, not that I'm saying to increase the amount, of course. But anyway, why is the diff what is the difference? Why? Why is that? Thank you very much. All right, Mr. Patterson, thank you. I'm going to turn it over to the county manager to comment. Ed? Sure, I'll handle the first part of the question, Chairman. I mean, the reason why we didn't do it during the spring, we were uh, dealing with the height of the pandemic, so we were a little preoccupied. As for the numbers, I'll turn that over to uh, Director Taylor. How are you, Chairman? The numbers that are reflected in the 2020 operating budget are for planning purposes only. Those projects have not been vetted by the county manager with the respective departments. And so in order to just move projects that are urgent, that that's why we were proposing this bond ordinance. Not all projects that are included in the budget document go forth in any year. So you'll always see a natural variance there. Okay, Director Taylor, thank you for that explanation. Madam Clerk, let's move on to the next caller or person who signed up. Sure, Chairman. We have a Mr. Daniel Hahn. Okay, Mr. Hahn, you have an opportunity to ask questions on this ordinance, please do so. I, uh, no questions at the time, thank you. Okay, thank you, sir. Uh, Madam Clerk, who's next? Chairman, we have um, a Mr. Thomas Stroh. Mr. Stroh, do you have any comments on this particular ordinance? Not on this ordinance. Okay, thank you, Mr. Stroh. Uh, Madam Clerk, is there anyone else who's registered that would like an opportunity to speak at this time? Not at this time, Chairman. Okay, thank you. Then I will close this portion of the meeting uh, of the public comment and by noting there's no additional comments and I will ask for uh, Freeholder Granados to um,